Hello and welcome to episode 7 of All Plan Engineering Questions and Answers. In today's episode, I will answer to a question that I received from many of you, which is how to create your own legend in All Plan Engineering. This was quite difficult to achieve with previous versions because of the complex attribute management system, but now things are easier with All Plan 2018. You can either manage your attributes directly from All Plan or externally from Excel or BIM Plus. I prepared here an example of creating a legend for 3D objects and let's see how we do it. We can start from a 3D object or a 3D column. It's not that relevant. What is relevant is the attributes that are attached to it. Also, we're going to start creating the 2D legend, so all you have to do is use the typical 2D functions you already know in order to build up your legend. As you see here, we are first going to generate the header and then we will multiply the cells. So everything you see here is just 2D lines. We'll copy and we will add a secondary row for the subtotals. And we go into label module and we will add some static text. So the first row usually is the name of the legend you are creating. I would say generically header. And then for each position, we will say the static text that describes the column content. So here where I'm placing column one, column two, is where you will place some static text that will be present all the time and will actually be part of the header. Numbering the columns is uh, very important to know, but it's not mandatory that you type those numbers. We'll also insert a total. And now we are going to add attributes that correspond to the name of the header. So we will go for, to attributes and we will get inside this attribute management system and choose the proper attributes. And there are some settings we can set, like the maximum length of characters allowed, uh, size of the font, scaling of the fonts. And you see that the program consequently numbers all the cells. So now we're with column two. And we are inserting different attributes. So attributes that we require to be inserted in the list, in the legend. And these attributes will be read from the attributes of the 3D object or architectural elements. So it's just about correlating the attributes from the legend with the attributes which are assigned to the objects. Also, here in column 4, we can insert a graphical representation. The software will scale it according to the size we impose. And then we're going to add a filter. So we are going to insert a condition that will filter the objects. So the total will only sum up a certain trade of objects. Now it's time to save the legend. First, we're going to click on the header and select from right to left the header. Then we will select the row and we will place the row so that the distance is correlated. Then we select a total and we lock the legend. Locking is actually saving the legend. We'll save it in the office. We choose a certain folder and then a position inside that folder. And that's pretty much it. If we want to check with the legend, we will find it in legend. We select office and we place here the legend. So if we add more objects that are within the filter criteria, which is the trait, it will just populate our list and it's associative to the drawing. I hope you enjoyed this episode and you'll now have a basic idea on how to create your own legends. If you are interested in a full training course for all plan engineering, I would like to remind you that until 10th December 2017, there are special discounts for YouTube subscribers. You can learn how to model and detail monolithic structures with a BIM approach or how to model and reinforce precast structures using Python parts. To find out more, please complete the form in the description. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe, share, and see you soon.